Schedule Builders, this is a quick tutorial on how you can build course relationships between courses when your building determines that two specific courses need to be scheduled at the same time with the same teacher. Another, we usually call that a class within a class. A good example would be Chinese 3 and 4. Often there are not enough students who sign up for Chinese 4 or Chinese 3 for them to be standalone sections. Um, there's just not enough staffing for that to happen. So we might take, if there's nine students in Chinese 3 and three students in Chinese 4, we want to make that one period for that teacher so those classes meet at the same time in the same room. We do that with a very specific course relationship, which is predominantly the only course relationship we use. Uh, it's actually two relationships. First thing we're going to do, we go to Power Scheduler, make sure it's your right school. On the left-hand side, we're going to go to Courses. And once we're looking at courses, obviously we have, as we do in all power scheduler areas, there's there's these, you know, what's my default tab I want to have open? I've been doing this, trying to make this video. So we're going to have, we're, we're going to choose that we want to work on relationships. You only need to do this if you're doing numerous changes. The default is tends to be preferences. Anyway, we're going to go to relationships, and we are going to look up Chinese 3, because we're trying to relate Chinese 3 to Chinese 4 so they build together. I'm going to click on Chinese 3. From here, I'm going to come over and I'm in the Relationships tab and I want to make a new course relationship. I'm going to associate Chinese 3 to Chinese 4. Now this is sorted by course number. Foreign language classes start with an FL. So we're going to find Chinese 4. Right, Find Chinese 4. We're going to hit Submit. So we're relating Chinese 3 to Chinese 4. And to get a class within a class relationship to work, you actually need two relationships. The first one is blocked for building with. That's the relationship. And the relationship code must be simultaneous the way we do this. So I make sure it says is blocked for building with simultaneous. And I hit submit. I've created my code. There's an additional relationship we need to have, or this will not work. So now we're going to come to new again. We're going to associate Chinese 3 to Chinese 4. And we're going to change the relationship type to maybe concurrent with. And there is no relationship code when we do the maybe concurrent with relationship type. And we hit submit. So for a class within a class to work, we have our first class, Chinese 3, related twice to Chinese 4. One of the relationships is blocked for building with code simultaneous. The other one type may be concurrent with, with no, with no code. It is important, you know, you only do this once. You only go to Chinese 3 to relate to Chinese 4. You don't now have to go to Chinese 4 to do a relationship back to 3. We could have made this relationship from 4 to 3. The, the order you do it doesn't matter. You just do it once. This is the primary course, and I'm relating it to the secondary course. You don't have to do it on both courses back to the other. Hope that makes sense. If you've decided, oops, we don't want these to be related, you would come into Chinese 4, click on the relationship, and then click Delete, Confirm Delete, Chinese 4, click Delete, Confirm Delete. So now that relationship is gone. Uh, just because you've related those two classes together, let's say you're going to have one combo class within a class of Chinese 3 and Chinese 4 that are going to meet together. When you do your teacher assignments, the teacher still needs to be assigned one section of Chinese 3 and one section of Chinese 4. You still have to do the assignment even though those courses are related. Hope that helps and makes sense. Uh, reach out if you have questions. Thank you.